You're looking at an Atlas V rocket poised and ready for flight on Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. On board the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, or MRO. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jennifer Hodges, joining you live from the International Launch Services and Lockheed Martin Atlas Space Flight Operations Center, or ASOC. It's an exciting morning as the Atlas V rocket is ready to embark on its sixth mission. This marks the first Atlas V launch for NASA and the U.S. government as a whole, since all prior Atlas V launches have been for commercial customers. Right now, let's take this opportunity to join launch commentator Don Spencer for an update on the processing. This is Atlas Mission Control, live from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. We're very pleased to have you with us for this important mission to launch the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter for NASA. The Atlas team has been continuing with launch countdown operations throughout the evening and the, through this morning. And uh, operations are continuing as planned, the Atlas vehicle and the AV-07 uh, vehicle and uh, the MRO payload are undergoing their final pre-flight checks and are continuing as planned. There's no issues in work at this time, so we're continuing as planned towards liftoff as scheduled at 7.43 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. 11.43 Greenwich Mean Time, and we have a two-hour launch window available that is open till 9.43 a.m. Eastern, 13.43 Greenwich Mean Time. T-minus 30 seconds. 29 seconds. Vent valve's locked. T-minus 25 seconds. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. This is Atlas Mission Control at T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, engine ignition, and liftoff of the Atlas V rocket carrying the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter for NASA. Let's listen to Marty Malinowski as he provides launch vehicle ascent data from the ASOC Engineering Operations Center here at Cape Canaveral. Booster PU has been commanded to fixed angles for the aero portion of this four minute burn. MRO has. MRO. MRO has begun the pitch maneuver. Engine performance continues to look very good. MRO has now begun flying the zero angle of attack phase of flight. Vehicle rates look good. Current acceleration level is 1.4 Gs. Booster PU has been commanded a fixed or closed loop control. It has requested a mixture ratio change. RD-180 is acted upon it. We are just about to reach the final mission milestone for today, so let's go back once more to launch commentator Don Spencer to get an update on the Centaur upper stage as we approach spacecraft separation. This is Atlas Mission Control at all plus 57 minutes, 30 running, just about a half a minute away from spacecraft separation. Orbit data looks great. We have spacecraft separation. And the launch team has confirmed that we have spacecraft separation. International Launch Services and the Lockheed Martin Atlas team have completed the 77th Center consecutive successful Atlas rate. launch with a delivery of the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter spacecraft to orbit. So this mission is now on its way to Mars. This is Atlas Mission Control. There you heard it, another successful mission for the Atlas V, ILS, and Lockheed Martin teams. We saw a spectacular liftoff from Launch Complex 41 here at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station at about 7.43 a.m. Eastern Time. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter will now spend the next seven months traveling through the solar system. Once MRO is in a large elliptical orbit, the subsequent few months will be spent executing an aero-breaking maneuver meant to place it into the final science orbit around the planet. I'd like to thank launch commentator Don Spencer for his play-by-play -play of key launch and mission events. And as always, I'd like to thank Jim Bonner for his insights into the Atlas V launch system. Now, for more information about the Atlas V and updates on upcoming ILS missions, please visit our website at www.ilslaunch.com. Our next launch will be the ANIC F-1 satellite on board a Proton vehicle in September. 
This concludes our live broadcast coverage of today's Atlas V launch. I'm Jennifer Hodges bidding you farewell on behalf of the ILS team and our partners and customers worldwide. We leave you now with one last look of that spectacular launch of the Atlas V rocket carrying the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. Have a great day, everyone.